Hello everybody, this is our next part of our Tears of the Kingdom series, and I'm here at the Kazakuma, the Kazuzi, uh, G -G -G -G, the, uh, Kamizum Shrine. We're going to start this one off with a shrine, and then we're going to be heading off towards the Rito Village. I want to get this one because, again, it is by one of the chasms. And the gloom, so I wanted to make sure I was able to. Oh, it's one of these. I wanted to make sure I was able to go through it and be able to teleport back here. So let's go ahead and real quickly get through this whole area. Nice and quick. Spring shield. Well, I've never tried one of those before. There we go. All right, now off towards. I think I'm gonna go to the Rito Village through Lookout Landing here, and I'm gonna stop at. Misko's treasure along the way. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm back at Lookout Landing. The guy's on. Oh, the star, falling star there. But I just saw somebody who I have been dying to meet. Quite literally. Here. And I must die. Hatsu Shalaka. You can see me, can't you? The name's Hatsu. I'm from Korok Forest up north. I'm a musician and my happiest happy place is playing my maracas and dancing. I left the forest to do some traveling, but things have gotten pretty wild lately. That's why I'm stopping at a safe place with lots of people around. But I'm getting bored just standing here. Do you want to see me dance before you go? Hang on. Something's wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are all gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shulka? The children of the forest must have taken them again. If I had even one Korok seed, I could sing and dance and make your inventory bigger. Korok seeds make a really great sound when you put them in maracas, but the seeds spill all over the place when I broke my maracas. And I think the children's forest took the seeds while I was, in, I was all in a panic. Sniff. <laughs> Hang on. Do you have a Korok seed? You do. You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me a Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger. Shalaka! So which stash do you want more slots in? Now, this is a big decision, but I believe I need more space for my weapons. Look at him go! Amazing. Incredible. There we go. That is by far probably one of the most important ones. Expand a ban ban weapon stash shalakala. So so, are you happy with it? If you bring me more Koroks, I'll expand your inventory again. Why thank you. 
I still smell... Ooh, excuse me. I still smell Korok seeds on you. Want me to make your pouch even bigger? Um... Yeah, let's do weapons again. Absolutely stunning. Bravo. Bravo. Absolutely stunning. There we go. I have. Okay. Let's go ahead and read. Hetsu, a tree fairy with a song in his heart. He is only visible to certain people. The power of his dance can increase the size of Link's pouches. But he has trouble keeping track of the Korok seeds his magical maracas require. Now, I believe I have all three of those pieces of equipment. I don't. I need you. I will take it. There we go. And there we go. Officially changed out for his other wear. Now I want to see if I can get. Oh, come on, please. Ah, oh, what an excellent night. Hey, you, you're actually back. It's been a long time. Yeesh, do you have any idea how worried you, you, we've been about you? Pura told me everything. Rubby. Is it true you've got the Pura pad? <laughs> Pura and I worked together on the design, but I'm the one who put it together, you know? We should have called it the Rubby pad, technically speaking. Uh. Come on, goggles. Are you even listening to me? <gasps> oh, uh, yes. Sorry, what you were saying? Huh. I was saying that I was one to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump into a chasm myself. Ow. No way, no how. You can't do that. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own. We've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there, too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms? Ow. But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end. <gasps> but I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then I should be able to help us better understand the depth. What figure? <gasps> oh, Swordsman. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Joshua. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them, one of them caught my eye. The piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See the figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there so I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous, and he won't let me go. Mm. Joshua, come on now. Tell you what. I'll go there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. Oh. And Link will join me. We'll start by looking for anything down there that re resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your Puripad's camera to take a picture of it for Joshua. Perfect plan. Oh. Don't know about the camera, it's one of the Puripad's basic features. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image, one that's stored in your pad there. I think you still have more to learn about the Pura pad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures once we're down there anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depths though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see, I guess you, we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come and find me there. Ta-da! Wait, hang on. Okay, I guess I'm not going to Rito Village. Huh. So he's real gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all of this, Swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he help, wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out, at least. Thank you. Oh, and take this, too. Thank you. Um. The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it... It'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you'll want to head straight out 
of Lookout Landing Southern Gate. You'll find the chasms, gosms, goggles you s go outside. Just go outside. I don't know too much about how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. Ah, <sighs> okay, well, the Rito can wait. I need a camera before I do anything. I really need to get myself a cat. And Robbie's profile and Joshua's. Uh, Robbie, an engineer whose eccentric style adds a lot to his reputation as a wild genius. He once helped Link from his research facility at the Akala Re Ancient Tech Lab. Since then, he's moved to the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab to help Pura p develop the Pura Pad. Robbie thinks he did much of the work on the device, so he's a big grumbly that it's not named after him. And Joshua, a young scientist whose genius earned her the role of heading up death's research. Joshua finds it thrilling to be working with Pura, and though she helps with various investigations into Princess Zelda's disappearance, she's glad to focus her time on the death. So I really quite enjoyed the Gibdo's encounter of the desert, and I am kind of hopeful that we do get to see him again around somewhere. Obviously they can't be the main central focus like they were before, but I do hope that we get to see some form of the Gibdo's again. And into the chasms. First time dropping in here. Ooh, it is dark down here. Ow. Ah, I have finally, <laughs> I've finally gone into the depths. Locations marked on the old maps you've discovered up till now, they've copied to your map. Okay. So that's way down there. Ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I am Ponic from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrive. Ah. He rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough ripe bloom seeds and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Oh. I thought he was taking a short walk over to the glooming area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. The last I saw him, he was heading way out there, off to the west. You have any bright room seeds with you? I do. Ah. Oh, that's great news. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You'd be risking your life to wander here without a light source, you know. You can easily get bright room seeds from caves, and they'll light up if struck, so they're pretty easy to use, too. We use the seeds all the time on the Zonai survey team. The simplest way is to throw them f with your hand. Ah. Those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down there. So cool. teaching me how to do all this. I'm going to explore the depths. Take plenty of those seeds with you. So if I go... Here we go. And of course, the ones that... Ah, okay. Well, that's very convenient. Ooh. Bunch of fairies. Are these fairies? No, they're bugs of some sort. So. Whoa, look at you. What sort of creature? Deep firefly. multi winged insect that lives in the depths. Quite an interesting creature. There we go. And what are you? Bringing life to the place. So I can light up the depths, it looks like, and bring life to the depths. That's interesting. Oh, uh, I bet you this is a way to get back up, too. Or a teleportation section. Shows the map. 
light shroud dispel the darkness and brighten the air surrounding area. Then is this now a teleport spot now as well? Yep, it's also a teleport spot. Okay. Ooh, it, it grew a tree. No, it didn't. It must not have grown a tree. Whoa, look at you. Aren't you guys interesting creatures? No name. You guys are very weak, though. I think I was supposed to come here a lot earlier than I did. A muddle bug, but wildfire with a powerful odor that can disorient and confuse. Fascinating. Yeah, I think I was supposed to come here a long time before I made it down here. Everything's so flat here. Kind of strange seeing how flat everything is. This zonate. <laughs> the puff shroom spreads a cloud of fine spores when stimulated. Okay. I can see that maybe getting annoying whenever I'm trying to collect items. <laughs> Fire fruit. Yeah, it's very fascinating. I'm liking this. I can't wait to explore this. That is one thing is I've explored the desert, which is the part I explored last time. Large that. It was something that I had already semi explored in the past in a more in a past. I saw there you are. Where this, this is completely new. It's not just a re-skinning of something I've already seen. And that's what the uh, Sky Islands are, and this is now. Is these are completely new areas to me. And once again, I am liking the designs of... Oh, I am liking the designs of the underground. It's very... Flat, but it's I like the mystical kind of otherworldly plant life and I mean the gloom everywhere is wonderful I mean I know that doesn't sound like a good thing but the bloom really adds this depth of like glow, a dark glow ominous glow around that really makes it feel like dread it feels like I am Kind of gonna be lost in this area forever, almost. There we go. I can see this being a very easily explored area. Like you, I could see myself running through this pretty quickly. Though, so. although there might be some pretty in. There might be some pretty interesting things. I'm not 100% sure. Because obviously, I haven't seen anything yet. I've been able to save off the majority of spoilers. If you take damage from Gloom, your maximum heart number of hearts will decrease. Wow, that's interesting. So it doesn't matter if I heal now or not, it's going to be... 
I'm willing to have those parts whether I... Now, there's got to be a way to reverse it then, though, right? We're not going to permanently... Dude, take away my hearts. I don't think they would. That seems like it would be a little cruel. I'm not gonna lie. It would be a little cruel. And I know I can buy things with Zone 8, but I haven't found another place outside of that very beginning area that I'm able to buy things with Zone 8. So I'm gonna have to really kind of take time to try to go find an area to buy some stuff because I am wanting to obviously use what I'm getting all, getting all this here for. Upgrade my character, get him stronger and faster. I would say smarter, but can't, that would be an affecting that would be affecting me. And I'm only so I'm only so smart. Thank you. There's a lot from this one. Get a lot of zone eight. I already happen to know how these work. But those are ex well, those ones blow up pretty darn big. Anything? Okay. Uh, now where is this doctor at? I guess that's the next big question, huh? Ah! I see, so this one cures your... Oh! He was right here. Hi there. What? Look how bright that thing got. That light down in this dark is downright refreshing. Hmm, in fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like, like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. So telling you about being hurt. Hey, it's you, you're finally here. I need to show you what I found. I really should have figured this out a long time ago. The statue, it's standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. Looks an awful like the figure Joshua showed us on the piece of slate, don't you think? All right, get that camera of yours. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot you haven't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the Pyropad's basic features. Hmm, give me the Pyropad for a second, all right? Well, there's the problem. Your camera's locked, and so your, and so is your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press it this while you pull this, and then you tap that, and... There we go. Still missing something though. I'm still missing something. Yeah, now I've already missed some of the boss features and everything. And all the Gibdos, I'm never gonna be able to get pictures of them now. Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So go capture a picture of the statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher, after all. Once you captured the image, come back here. I'll want to see how it looks. Boom. I can go back and do that other uh, quest now, too. Hey, you. How'd that go? I won't. I'm going to do that one in my off time, though. If you've captured an image of that statue with a camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it works. We've already been spent enough time over there. Maybe we'll come back at some point, but for now, it's done. Oh. So, did you get a good picture? Oh. Stupendous. Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Oh. Lighting up that immense route, getting us a picture of the statue. You just started helping us research what's going down here, but soon enough we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time to head back up to the surface. <laughs> See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Josh, Joshua wait too long for that picture. Before we head up to the Pura Pad, though, I want to do a little bit more exploration. Uh, but I'm literally meaning just minor. I want to go 
like this way until we hit another one of the towers. I don't know what else to call them. Just because I want to explore, see what new creatures we have. I don't know what those are. They give you zonate, though, which I'm not going to complain about. Like, look at this area right here. This is what I mean by, this is just absolutely terrifying. Like, I love this different, this like, cave, the canyon mine. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I like the uh, little backflip he did there to land. This is the mine. Really cool place to explore. Ooh. Now that, that looks like a lot of fun. Oh, come on. You're gonna need a big boy, aren't ya? There we go. One more. Well, let's grab the Zonate before we do such a thing. I don't know if Zonate can be destroyed, but just in case it can be. Nope. There we go. Now that was worth it. Ooh, there's another one. That's what I like to see. See? It was already worth going down here. Just for this little bit of the mine. I've gotten so much of that Sazonate. Oh, that's a bomb bush. Yeah, these are, those are pretty valuable resources in this game. A po! Hey! A po! A glowing spirit orb found all over the depths. Now, that's really cool. I'm so glad they brought back Pose. I mean, again, me being a Twilight Princess fan, I loved going around collecting Pose. But it does raise into some questions of what is this place? If this is, if there's a Pose all around this area, is this like the underworld? Because that's kind of what that seems like it would be insinuating. Thanks for blocking for me. These valves really do seem to help a lot. I wasn't sure how well these things were going to help, but I gotta admit, they help more than I was anticipating. Oh, you. And what is this? Oh. Like a storehouse or something. Well, I need to upgrade these things. So. Does that make it faster? Maybe. And let's attach. Oh. 
Look at that. Now that's a sword right there. Hmm. I see the pose over there. That's where I'm gonna head. Sword. Is that the one I've already been to? No, it's not. Okay. So that's where I need to go. Then. Lots and lots of pose. What's that? Oh, I gotta know now. Uh, but I think I'm gonna be able to just go right between these two branches. There it is. That's what I was wanting to see. A large po. Ah, it gave me five. Uh just to make sure there's nothing else higher, which there is not. There is a chest. Miner's top. Ooh. That's cool. He's like chains. It's like a bunch of chains. Now that is really cool. That's a very cool premise. So it's a bunch of chains that just a lit, lit light that. Yeah, I really like that. Again, it feels very tribalistic. It feels very almost. It almost gives me very slight hints of Made in the Abyss. If you ever watched that, it almost gives me slight hints of that. Of something you might see in that anime. That's what I meant to do. I need to go this way. This one's covered in malice. And I promise after this one, we're heading back. Hmm. How is one to get over? Perhaps by flight? Yeah. Oh, so this might be just a path, but it's through here. Can't you tell I'm ignoring these people? You people. There obviously is no reason for me to fight you. Here we are. All right, let's go ahead and teleport out of here. So up to the surface we go. By the time you showed up, now that Lady Regio has awakened as the sage, Grito Town is unlikely to fall to monsters. Think of her often. I haven't left Lady Regio's side in years, after all. It's hard not to feel sad about it, but as long as Le Lady Le Regio is moving forward, so will I. <laughs> we Grito will assist in search for Princess Zelda. For now, we'll fortify the gates and seek out enemy weak points with the monster control crew. Find anything out, well, I'll let you know. And Tura, how you yes. doing? Uh, Linky, welcome back. I've been hearing a lot about your adventures. Hmm. So someone resembling the princess was was seen disappearing into the sand trap. Then there was this massive pyramid and the Gibdo attacks. Even the strength of the Gerudo couldn't contend with all of that. But now, because of you, things are back to normal there. And some of the Gerudo have come here to offer support. Your help has been a tremendous impact. Thank you. Hmm. To, become, to become clear as day that there is a connection between Princess Zelda and the upheaval, there are much more serious, things are much more serious than I previously thought. I need you to hurry to the remaining regions, and soon. And we will need to investigate the other village I'm concerned about. What other village? Mm -hmm. Kakariko Village, home of the Sheikah tribe. It's off to the southeast in the Nekluda region. Zonai ruins, each shaped like a ring, fell directly on top of the village. Oh, hmm. there's got to be a special reason for it. Right now, the Zonai survey team's elites are taking on the investigation. 
you want to know about the Zona, you should talk to them. If you want more info, talk to Atmas down in the shelter. He can probably point you in the right direction. He helps deploy the monster control crew squads to where they needed and has extensive geographical knowledge. He can tell you more than I can about various regions and people. Anyway, I can get help from the research division for this, but I'm interested in investigation of remaining regions with the phenomena of the eels. Okay. Check it. Keep me posted. Alright. <laughs> now, to go get our final thing here. Hey, you! Show Josh the picture you took of the statue. They f that figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool, too. There you go. Hey. This is it. This does match what's on the fragments. Yeah. Thank you, Swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they are. Which confirms my theory. That people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. That is oh. a big, big, big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but uh, before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping me with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Zonates. Hmm. I feel as if the, these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy or something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zona, so hopefully you find them useful. Whoa. That fragment has b helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles. Swordsman. <laughs> Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. There we go. We're heading off to Rito Village so that we can continue the main storyline. I am literally just outside of the lookout landing, and we have the Ushodang Shrine. Oh, whoops. Oh, wow. All right, let's get in there. A windy device. So we're gonna be using our wind machines, our fans, to ah, get up to the next place above us. There we go. Oh, it's such a hard one to do. I, again, I think just maybe I was supposed to hit the shrine a long time before I actually did. Because I do believe, I'm thinking anyway, that I was supposed to go this way for, at the very beginning. I don't think I was supposed to head out to the desert. I mean, they allowed me to, but I'm pretty sure they wanted me to go to the Rito first. So I'm gonna assume everything around here is gonna be kind of low level. That's okay. I just need to be able to blow through it a little bit faster. You don't really need to celebrate it. It wasn't that hard of a task. Pretty darn simple puzzles, which is okay with me. Well, really? Okay. Fine, fine. Put a counterweight on it then. Turn faster. Go higher. And boom. There we go. Probably a little harder than it should have been. 
on my part. I was just being an idiot. And let's finally get to the main section, shall we? Of making this fly upwards. Which, of course, we want to be as fast as possible. We're gonna put those two on. We're gonna grab this one. Oh, okay. Oh there we go. And let's also grab this one. There we go. Does it want to unstick for a second? And put this one right there. There we are. And now for the ride of a lifetime. Are these at the way? Are they scraping against the sides, maybe? There we go. Rookie mistake. And here we are. Alright, off to the next area. Well, I think I found something that was a little out of the ordinary on my way to my very first tower. You can see it off in the distance. And we got ourselves a Hinox. This is our very first Hinox we've seen this game. And I think I'm going to go down this well first. <laughs> What's down here? Oh, oh, you got me excited there for a second, Riju. And fortified pumpkins. Huh. It's its own little hidden garden down here. That's interesting. For who set this up? This well proved more comfortable than I expected. Not too hot, not too cold, cozy, really, for a well. Uh, no heat resistance. Okay, so this is to try to tell you that there's no weather effects in caves, but I, Ari Tamu, Master Cuisine. I don't think we've met him yet. I'll be excited to meet him. Okay, I guess we can't avoid it forever. Let's go ahead and fight the Enoch, shall we? You can see I didn't really go far. That was the shrine we just did. So, here we go. How do I want to start this fight? <laughs> I want to start this fight with a bomb. Hello there. Ooh, you've got a horn too. Go. There we go. Well, you know what? I should have used her thing. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Uh, let's grab one of my actual better weapons for this. Oh, look at that damage. Ooh, you've gotten smart. There we go. And finish him off. Well, that was nice and easy. Yeah, I think I'm a little over leveled for this. That's okay. I am okay with that. Because me being over leveled just makes it a little easier for me, who's not particularly the best at this game. A Hinox horn. A horn wrapped in a wooden, a spiked, in spiked wood, excuse me. I see one of my arch nemeses. I have been trying to shoot these things now for a good long while, and for some reason, I have only been able to hit you once. Okay, you're gonna get alarmed. 
So I want to try to make hit this guy. Oh, I'm getting close. Maybe if I walk a little closer. These are really sensitive. Right there. And boom. Ah, I don't think I hit him. I think I hit right in front of him. These boo boo f bubble, bubble? Bub bubble. I'm going to say bubble frogs. Creatures are supposed to live in caves. What's a bu bubble frog? Whoa. Don't scare me like that. My poor heart can't take it. Eh? Are you by chance looking for bubble frogs too? That's right. Ah. Aha. I knew it. They must have asked you too. Supposedly, these there are creatures called bubble frogs that live in caves. They're bluish and whitish and stick to walls on stuff. Oh. I've already found a couple of them. And those two folks at Woodland Stable in Northeast Eldon, curious pair, very strange, maybe a little off. They're looking for something the bu bubble frogs drop. They asked me to uh, ask me to do the collecting. So did they ask you too? Oh. They offered treasure in exchange. Good treasure. It was a sweet deal. At least it would have been. But I don't know the first thing about cave creatures. That treasure was awful appealing, though. So that must be where we use our bubble gems. So I'm going to assume that there's going to be one of them in here as well as Nisko's treasure. But first, let's take care of these. I think these things are, if I remember correctly, these are like-likes? Oh. Uh-oh. No! Ow! Let me go! Let me go! You stole my bow? Well, that's an interesting ability. Hey. Hey! How dare you steal my bow? You gonna... There we are. Uh oh, run! No! He got me! Go ahead and heal up there real quickly while I'm in your belly. Now you stole my sword! Really? Oh, bollocks. Okay. I am upset now. Hey, I got my uh, Reaper Sword back. It's strongly damaged. And I got my Construct Bow back. There we are. Are these like-likes? Yeah, they are like-likes. Piece of Amber. Yep. And Amber again. So Riju's uh, Val seems to be slightly overpowered of just being able to stagger enemies without anything, without any, oh, without having to just, being able to paralyze and stun them and being able to, I think I see you, being able to do as much damage as it does it honestly seems slightly overpowered to have. Ah, oh, he disappeared. Oh. Hey, think. Get up there. There we are. Oh, oh, oh what? Oh, what are you? Hello there. What sort of creature are you? You're a horriblin horn. A horriblin? I've never heard of them. With a extra long stick. Well, they were kind of creepy looking. Crawling along the walls. Well, the ceiling, in this case. Creepy critters. So 
So Misko's treasure should be somewhere around here. Oh, is it? Are you behind the waterfall? Ooh, secret, secret. Yeah, I believe this is his treasure. Let's collect everything around. And what do we get? The climber's gear. That will be extremely helpful as we climb through exploring the areas and getting all the towers. That's going to be extremely helpful. But I have not found my bubble frog yet. Oh no, I went down the waterfall. Let's keep going, see if there's a butter bubble frog farther up in the area. I'm not sure. I am not sure there is any. I hope so. Oh, there he is. There he is. Now these guys drop one of those buddy rabbits too. Oh, uh, he dumped right into the water. I don't think he was wanting to be shot here today. And there it is. Oh, is there something behind you? Could be... Nope, nothing behind it. And let's just, let's get ourselves out of here then, shall we? See what all of this is about. I see something over here. This is on the like crop circle that we saw from above. Who are you? Nope. Let's turn around and see your face. There we are. What a surprise it is to see you here after all this time, Lake. Oh, it's Impa. I heard you had gone missing. It is certainly a relief to see you back, and in one piece, more or less. Hmm. And Princess Zelda, where is she? Oh. What? She still has yet to return? In that case, we must use all available means to search for her. Link, when Princess Zelda went missing, something else happened all over Hyrule. During the upheaval, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere, images that sprawled across fields and hills. I've seen a couple of them already. We are calling them geoglyphs. I understand they, they have been found in locations across the kingdom. Kado and I are traveling from region to region in hopes of seeing them all. I noticed this geoglyph from a distance while I was standing on high ground. Examining it up close, I could not make out what it depicted. I thought I might have a better view from up in the sky. I took to the air in the balloon Pero gave me, but then, alas, the wind struck and completely sheared the balloon off the base. I have racked my brain for ways to reattach the two parts to no avail. Oh, so this is trying to teach you. Oh yeah, this was definitely supposed to happen first. This is teaching you how to use the blimp system. And her profile was added. Impa, former chief of the Sheikah who served the royal family of Hyrule for generations and is a living witness to its near extinction. Sometime after guiding Link through the Calamity, Impa made her granddaughter Paya the new chief. Being over a century old hasn't stopped Impa from doing her part in the search for his Princess Zelda. She's investigating the geoglyphs around Hyrule, certain they are, will provide clues to where the princess is. Well, there you go, lady. Do I have any way to... I don't have a fire weapon anymore. And I will have to use my bow. But there you go. It should work now. Uh. Hmm? This is no time to fool around. Put my balloon back where you found it. Oh. Oops. Well, what if I want to take it? Huh? And I want to see it. Oh. Hey, come back. You forgot me. <laughs> How about no? Oh, and I see there's a fire right beside us. <sighs> so I didn't need to put the... Fire arrow. Waste of fire arrow. Oh, good. It undid the fire. Yeah. Hmm. Starting over. All I need is a clear view of the geoglyph. Try to move us straight upward without going in other directions. Well, are you gonna... I can't... Can I pick you up? Like... Lady. 
There we are. There we go. I had to talk to her first. I nearly forgot. Would you mind doing one final thing for me? Are you pointing at something? I'm gonna guess. Light a fire there and the balloon will start to float. Then we can be on our way. You literally just saw me do this a second ago, but I'm not wasting an arrow this time. Well, let's go ahead and see this glyph, this geoglyph. Oh. Too high up, I feel faint. But finally, we can see it. The geoglyph. Well done, Link. You know, I read something in the village o village's old literature. A passage about what the ancients called dragon tears. Where the tears rest upon the earth, we mark down the images so to which they gave birth. I believe this geoglyph is one such image. But even from this vantage, its meaning is no clearer to me. Nor can I figure out what dragon's tears might be but you know if the literature is correct one of them should be quite close near the geoglyph or even within its borders yeah. would you look around this could be the clue we need to discover princess zelda's whereabouts oh. if you would like to examine the geoglyph from ground level you can float down with a paraglide no need to worry about me i can manage a simple landing so Okay, so there's going to be some sort of tear. My guess is either going to be his eye or his hand, by the looks of things. Is it here? Oh, nope, but we got a Korok. Aha, there you found me. Okay, so not his hand. There's nothing over by his feet. I did see the hole, but I've already been down there, and I doubt that the bubble gems are what they are meaning. I doubt bubble gems are the tears, the dragon tears. That wouldn't make sense. So I'm gonna guess that it's the one that I saw happen in his eye. If I saw something in his eye, because I believe this was a geoglyph of Raru. Ooh, here we are. What? Oh, oh dear. We didn't mean to startle you. I'm sorry. It's okay. My name is Sonia. And could we ask what your name is? I... I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule. Zelda. What an unexpected answer. We are the king and queen who founded Hyrule after all. Or at least we were the last time I checked. You two founded Hyrule? And you're the king? Mm. My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. King Raru? And Queen Sonia? Uh, but that must mean...
So those are going to be memory spots of Zelda. They're not Link's memories this time. We're going to be going into the past and seeing what the heck happened with Zelda. So those are going to be very important for the storyline going on in the game. So I'm going to have to make sure I hit all of these that I can. After disappearing into the depths under the castle, Zelda wakes up and meets two strangers who introduce themselves as King Raru and Queen Sonia. She's left startled by a suspicion that she's heard those names before. Well, that is an interesting way of doing this. Aww. Link, you look distracted. What's wrong? I'm sweating so hard. Look at me. I'm sweating. Goodness, you say you had a vision, saw mysterious figures, and then Princess Zelda. Hmm. The geoglyphs, the literature, the dragon's tears, and now a vision of the lost princess. What if these are all connected? Let us continue to examine the geoglyphs that they may contain further clues that lead to Princess Zelda. You know, according to the literature, there is something to do with geoglyphs in the Forgotten Temple. The Forgotten Temple lies at the bottom of a canyon in Hebra. I think we should make our way there soon. Well, that's cool. They're going to actually do something with the, te uh, the Forgotten Temple. That was something I liked going through in the first game, but I always wished there was something a little more to it, so they answered. An uplifting device. Ah, oh, we're using blimps again. Just making sure it re it's reminding me how to use blimps. Just in case you didn't know how to use a blimp. Um, why don't we go ahead and add that? Because I don't... I would rather not waste my... Oh. Can I not get in that? No. I'm going to need to make a platform. Well, that's slightly annoying. But, can be done. I have to do this fast. Um, excuse me? You, my friend, need to attach your butt back down there. Yeah, how dare you not? I bet you I can finagle it. Go one, then the other, and just go back and forth. Or not. Okay. We need one to go into one balloon. Hey! Oh. I don't even need the other balloon. How foolhardy of me. In fact, I will just attach it there. There we go. Is it the cleanest way of doing it? No. Does it work? Yes. And... So that... This can then come over... Here. And get on Link. So that I can grab this chest up here. I'm assuming that's what's... The reason why we can come up here. There we are. This is the closest we've been to the roof. I don't see a chest up here. 
What happens when that touches the roof? Huh? Oh, okay. It's just a normal barrier. Slightly annoying. Um, I don't see a... Oh, wait a minute. Oh. You needed... Oh, that's slightly annoying. Because I can't grab those anymore. Let's see if I can't finagle something. Hmm. Oh, wait. There's some right here. Why, of course there are. So there wasn't any... There wasn't a chest up there. Which makes me curious. So what's going to fall that makes me... Nothing. Once again, very odd. So I need two balls, a small ball, a big ball. So I need that ball. And that ball. So I has gotta use one of these, right? Like I'm assuming yeah, that's gonna that's gonna give it a ton of power. That makes this easy then. It also explains why they give you those. Let's put this up by wall. See if it stays up, which it did to a point anyway. Well, it'll make it up eventually. And this one, it's getting the same treatment. Balloon on ball. Oh. <laughs> Fall back down. Uh, almost. Okay. Move it over where there's not a... There we are. And let's make it back up there. This was a nicer, uh, I like this puzzle. This was a nicer puzzle. A little more complex. In the end of though, it was still a beginner one. Just trying to teach you how to use the blimp system is definitely what it, the only thing it was trying to do. But I think it did it very well. Oh, I misjudged where that was. Oh, I'm gonna have to get that later. Then I bet you I can grab this one because of my genius planning. Put that one there. Oh, do wish you didn't need a cutscene every time for that. That's okay. Because I know this one's gonna get a cutscene too. Because of course it is. Why wouldn't it get a cutscene? It needs a cutscene. It really, really needs a cutscene. There we go. And I'm going to destroy that fused material because I don't want to waste that on my on a torch. And that is going to be it for the shrine. And let's make sure we discover this stable, the new Serene stable. That guy's just gonna tell me more information that I'll probably figure out at some point eventually. Hello there, beetle. Do some shopping.
There we are. I didn't have a lot to sell, but I'm still hoping that... What can progress do? Nice okay. I'm still hoping to be able to buy armor when we get there. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse-related. And it seems you're not a member yet. Our stable uses the Stables Association's membership system. So you'll need to register if you want to use it. May I ask for your name? Aww. Link. All right, Mr. Link. There. You're all signed up. Now, would you like to tell would you like me to tell you about the stable system? Yes, please. Huh. Then allow me to explain. You can bo board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. There's a limit to how many horses you can board, but you'll be able to swap them in and out as you please. Huh. Once again, welcome to our stable. Would you like to lodge with us? A regular bed will cost you 20 rubies. A Melania bed will cost you 50 rubies. What's a what's this bed? If you sleep in a Melania bed, not only will you wake up more energized, Melania, the horse god, may also share a magical message. This makes it a very popular choice among uh, lodgers. But we don't offer such a luxury to just anyone. Only customers with at least seven pony points can use Melania beds. Now then, once again. Oh. We forgot to explain. Yes, please. Uh -huh. That's right. It's a reward system you can use at stables. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Without a further ado, since this is your first time visiting New Serene Stable, you get a pony point. Aww. Save up points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. Oh. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules, and other information. Huh. Come back anytime. Well, I am excited to see receive reward. Hey. Ah, yes, I'll be right with you. Oh. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? If you save up just two oh. more points, you'll receive a towing harness. Very useful item. You can use it to hook up your horse to various things. We appreciate your patrons. Oh. Pony, um, points and rewards to receive. Remember, you can also check your pony points card to see how many points are. Oh, okay. That makes things nice and simple. My pony, now I have a reward for collecting. Spend it at a stable to get some rest and rubber. Uh, hmm. I don't know how to use those, but I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Now, maybe finally I can get to that tower and make it to Rito Village. Oh, that's cool how that shows up on the uh, map. Whoa! It's a talus with a stone talus with a. It's a battle talus with moblins over it. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go, Riju. Follow me. Get in range. So that I can. Ooh! Uh, uh, oh! Well, that didn't do much, did it? I guess the idea is nope, that I use my ascendability over at the side would be my guess. Ow! Ow! Never mind. Oh, Riju's glitching out. Let's try to get it before they even see me. Oop. Hey, what? Oh, wait a minute. I see there is a rock still for me to hit on the salus. There we go. I didn't see that. And I'm assuming, yeah, I'm supposed to just come up right like that and beat the snot out of you. Just knock you off. Ooh. I wonder if that would have hurt his buddies, too. Hey. Stop. 
moving. Oh. There we are. I'll go around collecting stuff here in a minute. This is going to be my second tala stone talus, but this is my first battle talus. Which is a very cool concept. I really like that. I can't wait to see what they can do with that. And did I get myself another heart? I did get myself another heart. Not as fancy of a heart, but a heart nonetheless. I believe I will be using that with my sturdy stick. <laughs> I was so close to him, I still couldn't hit him. Oh, Lindor's Bro Cave is a deep cave. Oh my, I wasn't expecting it to be that deep. Okay. So it was along the way. Still trying to get to the Rito Village. Still haven't made it there. This game just has so much to do in it that I keep getting distracted. But that is going to be, after I finish the Rito Village, that's going to be the next couple of episodes. It's literally just allowing me to get distracted and ex just explore the world. But while we are here... Oh, there's a shrine down here! Don't mind if I do. This is a quite the big cave. Oh! There's Mal- There's- Oh! Oh! What the heck? Oh! Um... Hi there, Malice. So, um, what exactly is Malice weak to? Ah! I haven't spent enough time figuring out Malice. Mm, no, please. Whew. I'm gonna guess, because of all the bright seeds around, that they are, they hate this stuff. Um, maybe, maybe if I use like a bright seed on it? No. There goes one, two, two. Oh geez, these things just keep respawning? Did I, is that what I just saw? Was this thing, one of these things respawn? Hey. I'm running out of bows. This is my last good bow. I think I'm right in my thought process. I think those things are respawning. That is fascinating. And they're faster than I am running. Oh yeah, that's it's just a Hydra. Okay. Um. Huh, how am I to beat you? Well, let's go into this Taki Hiban shrine first. Well, we can figure that out later. Maybe the, the shrine will actually give us something that will help. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess not. Okay. I was Raru's blessing. Thank you, Raru. I was honestly um, hopeful for, I don't know, a hint. Is that my hint? Because I needed blast it with a Zonai charge? I can do that. 
just ain't gonna be pretty. I wanna see if I can't fight. Oh, he, they, oh, no, they didn't go away. I, I need to figure out a way to kill all of them at once. That's what needs to happen here. And I can't be, oh, <laughs> they were closer than I thought. <sighs> There's gotta be a weakness of these things. That's the biggest thing I gotta figure out is what are your weakness? I'm sure it's because I'm sorting by most used. Um, by type was probably gonna be the easiest way. I, I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be Zonai material. Let's just test that out. Perhaps by the zone eight. Uh, does not uh, maybe. I don't think so. Though. How about a giant bloom dude? No. What are these things' weaknesses? Are they charges? Um. Maybe. Better question: Are these designed to be killable? Now, I feel like you should be able to, right? Would only make sense if you're able to kill. Maybe I just have to kill him faster? Oh, there's a Phantom Ganon now. Oh! Well, ain't you just a fun creature? Oh, you have a bow, too. I love that addition. Oh my goodness, having a bow? You're not allowed to have a bow. That's too cool for you. Ow! Oh, I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Um, do I actually have, I do have some food. Not a lot. Uh, again, I don't really. Um, hello. Hello. Ow! Um, do I have the time to figure out his attack patterns? Yeah, I got enough food. Uh, oh, I can't get near him, though, because he's a walking pile of miles. Okay. It's good to know. No. Uh, let's not take a picture of him. Uh... By power, please. Woo! Let's try that again. There we go. That's what these Gibdo bones are for. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> um, well, crap. There we go. What is your sword? A gloom sword. This slender sword has an ominous presence. It is said to end the life of anyone it touches. Its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. Well, that's terrifying. 
The Demon King's Bow. A magical bow prized by the Demon King. Its performance reflects the power of its wielder. The higher maximum number of hearts, the more its attack power increases. Oh, and dark clumps. An unusual substance. It's cold to the touch, and it seems as though it's filled with pitch black darkness. Use it in cooking to get a gloom-resistant effect. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, but that's freaking awesome. So if I, you're saying if I had quit this. <gasps> the gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. Um, I, hmm. It's going to take some more research, I think, before I can figure that out. But with this, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say it's, call it guys, I'm going to have to say that it is time to end the video. I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, bubble frog, and then we are going to head on out. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Oh, that's my first sapphire. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe so you guys continue to see some more of my content. Thank you for holding on throughout all of my audio issues that I've been having. In fact, my... Switch was just actually having an issue before we, right, right before we fought that gloom of where it stopped working for me for some reason. So just thank you for being understanding and continuing to watch my series even though I have had some issues with all of my sound audio and just recording this in general. Once again, thank you guys all so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow where we will, we're going to start at Rito Village. I'm not going to make you guys sit around any longer. We're going to start at Rito Village. Start with the intro, and then if I anything interesting happened along the way, I will then show it afterwards, because I've been, I've wanted, I want to get to Rito Village. We've been distracted for way too long, and it's about time we get started to in the Rito Village. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye.